integration by substitution okay you have cos x and then exponentially e to the power of sine x dx okay i'm gonna make let u equals to sine x okay fix one <clears throat> okay you may ask me why sine why not cos x okay because when i differentiate sine okay i'll be getting cos okay, when i differentiate sine i'll be getting cos so cos and cos okay it, it makes sense i think it'll be easier uh, that's the reason okay so du over dx equals to cos x and from here du equals to du over cos x equals to dx okay so from here okay what i can do i can sub oops, okay it's sub cos x is already existing and e to the power of sine x and dx is actually du over cos x okay when i cancel these two since it's same what's left is e to the power of sine x now i've made u as sine x so substituting this e to the power of u and this is in terms of du okay when i cancel cos x cos of what's left is just uh, du okay now this is easy at this stage you can integrate okay very easily so integrating this will give you integrating exponential is just e to the power of u expo uh, integrating that will just give me e to the power of u over one because differentiating u gives you one but this uh, you don't have to write that and then plus c now uh, we don't want it to be in terms of u we want it to be in terms of x now sub your u which is sine x into u so e to the power of sine x plus c